Hello and welcome everybody to this new video. Um, my name is Salas and I uh, like to play around with operating systems. Today we are having a little we are having a little look at the installation process and a uh, general overview of the Deep In Linux distribution. The reason I'm interested in looking at this is because it just seems to look really cool I think um, but we're gonna see that um, deep in select language so I've just got myself a, a little a little ins installation disk for this so yeah we're gonna install this now on my little virtual machine here. English yes friendly note you're installing deep in on a virtual machine which may result in suboptimal performance okay I am aware Look how nice this already looks. Advanced. Okay. You need at least 64 gigabytes disk space. Really? Okay, that's surprising to me. I've not seen any Linux... Linux version do this. <laughs> 64 gigabytes. Wow. Let's just 70. Usually I do... Usually I do just... Uh, 32 because that's usually fine for everything and then they end up using literally nothing at all let's try again 64 gigabytes that's probably how much windows uses how much does windows use google 64 gigabytes okay so that's true hmm. that's insanely that's so much there we go english yeah, this is actually a, a, uh, oh, it's going to create quite a bit of things. Uh, six partitions. Okay. That's why. Recovery. It does create a swap partition. Okay. Well, this is not that weird. I'm just surprised at it. So let's do it anyways. This is actually a China, an, an Asian Linux version, Linux distribution. It's made in, uh, I think it's made in Wuhan actually. The Corona place. <laughs> At least it's made by Wuhan Technologies or whatever they, they're called. Wuhan Deep In Technology Co. Limited. So yeah, it's a Asian slash Chinese Linux version. So it's showing a little slideshow of things that it can do here. Things that are that come with this system. Utilities. Usually on all well usually on other Linux distributions you can already set up things like different settings while it's installing in the background, which is why I shit on uh, Windows so much in the Windows installation video which I've made already because on Windows yeah you, you install it and then it's kind of like this where it's just like shows you a progress bar and then it restarts and well Windows already like well Windows then still like screws around and does other things and you also can only like enter your username and password and other like settings and stuff after it's installed, while on other Linux versions or other, other Linux distributions, you can put in your username, install extra software and stuff like that, all while the system itself is installing itself. So that's like way better. That's already one of the points that I don't like about this that much because it's not doing things. It's not doing things here. It's not doing anything. Oh, well, it, it is doing things. But it has nothing to do with the user. I like the fact that it saves time and effort by just installing stuff in the background while you input settings. That's better. That's how it's supposed to be. Installing all updates and stuff while it's installing the operating system. On Windows, it's like, oh, wow, well, Windows is installed now. Well, wait. Here is about 400 updates that, for Windows that you have to install now. And I'm like, why? Just do it in the actual installation. Well, 
Yeah, I've talked about that in the Windows video, just watch that. This already looks kind of kind of nice, if you like, this rounded, rounded corners, bright and colorful looking stuff. This kind of modern... <laughs> I hate this so much. It's kind of modern stuff. I use GNOME. I use GNOME. You can see this. I use GNOME on Pop! OS. We don't have the most rounded edge corners and stuff like that. It doesn't matter to me. I'm fine with having a menu that's like looks like this right i don't want or need transparency i don't even need animations really a hundred percent look at that successfully installed bloody hell why is this happening again oh okay so now we are actually in the operating system i, I thought it wanted to install itself again english see this is usually what they g oh okay well Press G in this menu, please. Can't press G. I hate it already. <laughs> German. Okay. Yeah, as I said, on other Linux distributions, usually it will just do this while it's installing, which is way better. Fill in the username, computer name, and your password. Can I select an image? I want to have the clock because I'm German and time is money. <laughs> Silas, username Silas. Silas PC. No, it doesn't fucking matter. Let's do a great safe password for this. Which is literally just Silas because I'm going to delete this anyways. <laughs> tuning system. Applying changes to your system. Please wait. What does tuning system mean? Nobody knows. Well, deeper know. The, the people who programmed this know. Not me. There we go, I guess. Okay. So let's type in the password. Friendly reminder. Okay, it has detected. <laughs> How is this written that weirdly? It has detected that you are using a virtual machine. <laughs> no, I want effect mode anyways. Now, I guess, I don't know what's happening. I don't think it's finished yet, is it? It's not finished booting yet, probably. I would assume. Oh, okay. Let's resize the window and hopefully it uh, adjusts itself. No. Display settings. So this is already not good because it's like a weird resolution. There we go. Save. Well, okay, this is also weird. Nice. Okay, so I guess we can already... Is this it? Is, this, is it done now? Updates. Check for updates. If this has to install updates now again, I'm gonna... not be that nice because I really... Okay, well, let's do it. I downloaded the newest ISO! Why? So we have accounts here. Look at how it has these. I think this looks pretty nice. This looks nice. To me, this already looks nicer than um, than Windows 11, even though I uh, don't think this is working correctly because there's literally nothing here. Auto login. Login without password. Valid, valid, validity days. Okay. <laughs> Deepen ID. You can have Deepen accounts. Only supported in mainland China. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll fucking hide the option, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter, but... Display scaling. Don't mess around with that. still think the resolution is kind of, like, wrong. Updates are not done yet. Okay. Default applications. Web page is... Browser. Mm -hmm. Mail has, is mail. Text is text editor. Music is music. <laughs> oh, whoa, what's happened now? Sun Pinion. Okay. Cancel. M video is movie, not video. Okay. Picture is image viewer and draw an album. Okay. Personalization. 
Here we are with the accent color win window effect. What is it? Well, maybe it's not installed like drivers and stuff. Dark theme, let's try the dark theme. Personally, I don't like dark themes because it makes text really hard to read for me. But people like it, so I want to test it. And I get this, I understand that sometimes people want to have this dark mode. And then they're like, I think it's installing, is it installing drivers? It probably is because the screen keeps going black. If there's one thing that I really hate, it's when programs, especially like system software, doesn't respect your theme that you set. Like you put on dark mode and it like shows up as white anyways. That sucks. That just sucks. What's happening? What the hell is happening now? Deepen. Deepen. Don't let me down, man. This is not a good experience right now. I don't know why. Send the shutdown signal. Restart it and see what happens. Come on! Come on! There we go! Now I think it's working correctly. <laughs> now we have the fucking the panel thing down there. Nice. Okay. Can do this settings again. Oh, and it looks completely different. <laughs> oh my god, that was a loud ass fucking sound. Updates. Yeah, I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna update it. Yes. And I'm gonna leave it alone and then we'll explore. Okay, so because we went to display settings right there, we didn't even see the screen yet. Oh, I get it now. I thought we had still like such a big update that it was like a completely different operating system already. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. Backing up. I'm just going to install this and then we'll see. Update failed. Okay, why? In that case, fuck it. Personalization, that's where we were at. Oh my god, rounded corners. You can change how rounded the corners are supposed to be. Where are they then? What, what corners do they mean? Don't see any change. The dark theme works though, I guess, so we can put it back to light because I just think that looks better. Okay. There's different icon themes. Vintage. That, I think that doesn't look good. Bloom. I like this one, the default one. That looks pretty cool. Bloom Dark. That also looks pretty cool. I like those icons. Those icons look nice. Cursor theme. Bloom Bloom Dark or Add White. Add White. Oh, fuck these names. Font. Make the font big. Actually, like, if you look at this, there's this button here next to the minimize button. And it says theme. I guess you can choose light theme, dark theme, or system theme. That's pretty cool. Let's see if this is in on every window. Or if it's just in the settings thing, the control center. Calendar. Okay. It's a calendar. Theme, dark theme, has a dark theme as well. System theme, nice. Music. I have no music on this, but okay. Dark theme. Settings. Settings. <laughs> no, don't minimize the system tray. No, no. Album, I guess that just views your photos. Timelines, albums. Again, theme, dark theme available as well. Nice, App Store. There we go. Now let's see what actually is in this. Um, I actually don't even know what this is based on. Is this based on Debian? Probably not, actually I don't know. Okay, so the so Deepin is based on Debian, so you'll get basically all Deb uh, all dot Deb packages. 
all deb packages nice this is good uh i'm wondering if this has like flat hub integrated do we have flat one app found discord to two stars okay <laughs> <laughs> Does this not support that? We found a thing. We found one. We found one that doesn't support dark mode. Why? Why would you do this? Why? It's worked that well. Just have this little menu here. Just have a dark mode. Must haves. This is dumb. So, what are the must haves on this? Show them to me. Show them to me. Gimp, okay. Inkscape, okay. Chrome, no, fuck off. <laughs> Skype is a Skype, okay. Discord is there. Only Office is there. Only Office is nice. Can you install multiple things at the same time? Can I do this? Discord, only Office. Fucking team viewers on you. Fucking scam. No, 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 I didn't want to click that. Click the checkbox. Discord still checked? Yes. Stacer. Uh, okay, four apps selected. Install all. That's that's an awesome feature. I guess here you can see what's happening. Nice. That's pretty cool. So Deepin does not have flat hub built in. Okay. Because Sonic Roboblast 2 is on flat hub. I'm wondering if you can turn that on. Browser. Let's look at the browser. Of course, it says this with Baidu. Does Deepin App Store use Flat Hub? Well, okay. This is not going to be that useful to me, is it? They don't even include Flat Pack support by default. Oh, that's... I mean, it's not hard to add. You just do these three steps and then that's it. But not including Flat Pack support for uh, applications, that's not good. Mail. No, file manager. Why does it look like a mail thing? File manager? Look at this. Look at this. System disk and data disk. That's really weird because I've never seen any other Linux thing do that. I don't know. Maybe that's really common. I just haven't seen it. System disk. I don't know. Looks like a file manager. Different modes. Does this have tabs? Do we have tabs? No, open a new tab. There we go. I found it. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, deep in. Nice. Again, that's like every single fucking Linux distribution I've seen has tabs. Has tabs in the bloody file managing software in it. And Windows is like, well, guys, we've done it. We've added tabs to the file manager. It's like, we've had this for years, people. No input window. I don't know what that means. Volume. Fucking weird sound effect. Wired network. Okay. Oh, look. It's like you can extend and hide your tree icons. I think this looks really nice. What is this? Oh my god, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> CPU utilization. Look at this. So look at this. They got their little task manager in... Uh, both themes. Does Windows even have a dark mode task manager? I'm telling you, it probably doesn't. You can go check yourself. I'm not going to do that. Nice. Services. Good. Processes. Look how awesome this looks. This looks really awesome. Memory. Network. I think that's pretty cool. And the fact that it has this thing built in right here, that's pretty cool. What would you like to search for? Text editor. Is this the same as the launcher on? Oh, no. Oh, this is so weird. Write the question mark. This is not a German layout. Oh, this is completely different. can do a web search as dag obviously in baidu fuck 
So I guess they do the same thing as Windows does, except they do it with Baidu for some reason. Onboard. That's a weird... So it's a keyboard that says onboard and then... I guess you could type here. Do you hide it again? Hide it! Click the clock and it opens the calendar, which makes this kind of redundant, but okay. You've got your recycle bin or trash. Okay, and notification center. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. Show desktop button. And then the launcher thing, which basically is, I guess, the start menu. Let's start with this. Computer opens the file manager. Documents, pictures, music, videos, and downloads. Control center and power. That makes sense. What does that button do? Ooh. Now it looks like a phone. Which, I guess, MacOS probably has this. Ubuntu definitely has this. Most GNOME things have something like this as well. Yeah. Okay, so you can see all your installed things here, which is a menu that I really like and I think is very good. It's very simple and it's easy to use and is awesome. Send to dock, add to startup, send to desktop. That's nice, that's that's good. That's the menu items that you basically need. All categories, office. Did it install only office already or not yet? Oh, what's happening? So this is just the terminal output of what it was trying to do by installing 7-zip. Seven, 7-zip. Seven seven fuck this. 7-zip. I don't know. Yes. It definitely doesn't have the German keyboard. Device was removed. Okay, why? Keyboard layout, German. It says German right here, but if I press Z... It shows a Y. If I press Y, it shows a Z. What happens if I put one of our words, our special characters? No, those don't show up either. Sevens have been installed. Okay. Thank you. Not the German keyboard layout, though. <laughs> you fuck. German keyboard layout doesn't exist. <laughs> this whole store thing has, like, cool art, though. This, like, looks awesome, I think. Discord installed. So it's installing all these things. I hope it can install. Is it moving even? Is it only office moving? Or did it like fuck up? No, only office desktop editors. Is, it's right here. It's literally right here. Well, okay, I guess it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes, okay. I know that it's installed already. I am aware. Fucking hell. So I guess you can have either this mode. Games. Lian Kian Kan is here. Select level. Easy, please. What in the world is this? Is it broken? Oh, start. What am I supposed to do? I can press it and then nothing happens. Press and hold and like slide it. No. That's a scary sound. What do you do? I guess it doesn't work on a mouse and keyboard. Okay. What in the world? I don't even know how this works. What? This is absolutely confusing. Victory! Play again or have a rest. <laughs> Why is it called have a rest? Okay, stop that. That's funny. So I guess you can either click on this small thing if you want the 
more normal window, uh, more normal start menu kind of thing, or press the big mode and get all of this shit, different categories, internet, chat, music, video, graphics, okay, that works, it's card, graphics, games, office, system, device manager, oh, other, okay, this is pretty cool, if you want a menu like this, or it just has this general overview of literally everything, which actually I think looks pretty nice, when you scroll, okay with the mouse wheel you can scroll sometimes seemingly, Welcome. Let's press the welcome thing. What happens then? What does welcome do? Nothing. It showed up for one second. Yeah, I think that's screwed. Downloader. Download manager with a dark mode. Nice. Forum? Oh no, I put the shit on the desktop already. I hate when things get put on the desktop on their own. Why? Don't do that. Fashion mode. Efficient mode. Okay, that's just the dock. Actually, I think this still looks quite nice. Pretty nice still. Maybe a bit bigger. Can put it on the left. Can put it on the top. Put it on the right. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, well in that case, I'm gonna check for an update one last time and then... Um, my final verdict on this is, after having looked at this for about an hour now, I think this is pretty, pretty cool. Slightly concerned because this is from China, so potentially there might be like a bit of like nasty software in this. Like the thing how it like pulled up Baidu every every search. Um, maybe like other telemetry like stealing data. Maybe it's doing that. I actually don't know. I haven't looked into that. But I think it looks pretty nice. I think this looks actually really awesome. To me, this looks. This whole, this menu and this menu, and this this dock, and this thing. That looks a lot more pleasing to me than Windows 11 actually does, like the whole icon theme. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it does look pretty cool. So, I'm sad that for some reason the German keyboard layout is screwed and that there are some other dumb things about this, but in general I think this is pretty cool. Reboot now, let's see how well it reboots. <laughs> I forgot that I set that up. <laughs> okay, that was an interesting sound effect. Moderately terrifying. Genuinely not, not that pleasant. Deep in. That sounds moderately weird, I think. It sounds kind of cool, but like, it doesn't sound like any other operating system that I've looked at yet. <laughs> Okay, where's the dock again? The dock is missing again. That's C, like, why? It's like, cool, until the dock doesn't exist anymore for some fucking reason. Like, it's there, it's actually there. Can I press it? No. Menu appears when I press the super key, or the, the, the Windows key, I should say. But the dock doesn't exist. It's just not there. It literally just doesn't exist. I mean, you can see how it's doing things when you're when you press left and it moves the icon around. Oh, there it is. You have to press keep hidden and then keep show again. That's so weird. So, yeah, if this gets like more polished or like even better, like this is already pretty cool. What, what, 
desktop backgrounds are there? Are there backgrounds? Wallpaper and screensaver. Oh my god, look at that. That's some pretty cool... Pretty cool backgrounds. Look at that, it's a fish. The logo of Deepin looks pretty weird. Okay, that that looks pretty cool. That background looks pretty cool. That's some pretty awesome background. <laughs>